great to be back. Welcome to Predictions. We are back with you, as is the great Derek Accor. We've got a lovely studio audience. They're the lucky ones. They've been chosen to meet the great man himself. You're all desperate, aren't you? Desperate to meet him. You are. Look, your hand's going up already. I'm not even asking you a question. Derek's not even here yet. Anybody actually have got questions in this audience? The lot, yeah. No surprises there. All right. I know you want to meet him. Let's bring him in. Come on, Derek Accor. <laughs> How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Feeling Beth. good? Yes, I do. Sam on your right He's shoulder? Most certainly is, Ready yes. to help you well, out? Certainly, yes. Okay, yes. all right. So everyone's got questions for you. Who am I going to choose? I get very unpopular. Uh, we've got this lady, Anne, over here. I'd like to know who my spirit guide is. Your spirit guide? Yeah. You say you completely believe in all this. Yeah. You really think you've got one. Do you feel some, some something yeah, around I you? Yeah, I do, yeah. But you don't know who. Don't Can know you work who. out who Anne's spirit guide well, is? Well, as Anne is pr just prompted uh, on the question, I'm aware of a gentleman who's just shown himself to me. Actually, there's woman backing him so since Bethan I'm aware that a gentleman uh, who was your main guide um, would, would this be someone known to Anne no he's but not a family bloodline this man um, goes back um, thank you Sam yes he goes back here I, I feel into early 1910 1900 thereabouts uh, he was a gentleman quite a tall gentleman not the tallest about 5 10 5 11 not a heavy set man quite a slim man, uh, a person that used to, you see there's a, a statue of the thinker, you know, like this, and he gives me the impression that he was a deep thinking man, and I feel he comes through to you because he's trying, actually he's trying to come through to you now because he's prompting you to go to, uh, in development, to circles, have you heard of yeah. circles? Mm -hmm. because Spiritual he's, circles. Yes, he's pushing you, but ever so gently Anne. That and are you sense, going, yeah. does it? Are you going in that yes. direction? I have done in the past. Yes, yes. Yeah. but he's prompting you now. It, maybe the timing is right for you now to start going, to start going. And to get your partner, please, greatly interested in it, okay? <laughs> this is your partner, presumably. Yeah. Are you interested in all this? Uh, yeah, I'm starting to be, yeah. Okay, yes. all right. Yeah. So to the circles together then you with see, you. see, also, can I just say, apart from your guy, there's a lovely man showing next to you, sir, as well. Ooh. Because as he comes in, he does this. I feel he was a bit of a boxer. Yeah, he was. Whoa, yeah. Yeah. He's doing who? This who? Who? My father. Your father yeah. was a boxer? Yeah. Was yeah. he? Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Definitely. And he's laughing at me now steady, on the weekend. Steady, steady. Like that. Derek. He said, yes, yes, do it. You know, get interested, he said, yeah. because I'm surprised. I'm shocked over here. Yeah. He said, I took right. my eyes over there. Didn't believe there was such a place, your dad. Okay? <laughs> do you understand this? Definitely, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. And, so oh, yeah. Strong man. I wouldn't have said too much to your dad, okay? <laughs> Boom. And it knocked I, me out. I wouldn't say too much to his son, looking at the size of him. <laughs> oh, his dad was Actually. cool, wasn't he? Was, big man. was yeah. he? Even bigger than you. Powerful man, oh, yes. Sounds lovely. Okay. Right, let's move on. Let We've got see. Carol here. Carol's got a question, haven't you, Carol? Yeah, I'd just like to know. My dad passed suddenly. Bless him. And I'd like to know if he's around. How long has he been over, my love? Uh, two years. Okay. Yes, son. Thank you. Now, he's not shown himself. I've just got to inquire. Sometimes they do. If the court up maybe doesn't know that you're here, some do. But can I just say, inquiring about him, before your lovely dad passed over, before he went on that journey, um, Sam told me here, please, that he suffered a seizure, didn't he? Yeah. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. And can I also... Who did he know? Yes. Your dad knew Jim. Who was Jim? Can I, oh, yes, he did. Sorry, I'm not taking that back. Yeah. Who was James? <laughs> I can't think. James met your father when your dad opened his eyes in the world of spirits. And there's also a... Who was the other one? Thank you. A lovely lady, please, who wasn't very tall at all. And she was a little pocket dynamite, this one. And she stepped no. up to him and said, Come on, then. Do you understand? Mm. Okay. Who, and who would she, this be? My mum. Yes. Mom. Oh, she had it all set for your dad. Mm. Okay, <laughs> love. And you, your dad's so taken up. He was another... He was like... Is there a place or isn't there? Is there a place or a... So your mother settled him down and said, Yes, there is! Mm -hmm. She ran to him. And it's like as if, as she ran to him, because they're showing me now, it was like as if, as she got up to him, she put her arms around him like this, and her head was only to about there. Do you understand yeah. me? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, she, and he... Oh, gosh. So they know? are together? Oh, they're together in a beautiful realm. They're in a lovely, lovely realm. And the reason why they are in that vibratory realm is because they've earned the right to the way they live, love, okay? Yeah. All they're right. Good folk, okay? So yeah. that's good they're together? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much indeed, Derek. We'll be back for more questions with our lovely audience later. But I'm going to move on to Natalie here. Now then, Natalie, I've got notes about you here. You've just finished your A-levels, haven't yeah. you? But over the last two years, you felt as though there's some presence around yeah. you. Yeah, yes. 
someone's looking over me. And you're wondering who that might be. Yeah. You also had a bit of a funny time. Well, you're into a bit of a funny time now, aren't you? Yeah, um, I've just finished my A-levels and I'm wondering whether <coughs> to go to university or work. So I was wanting a general reading about my future and also about relationships as well. Walk this way. I've got okay. just the man who can sort you out. Come on, here's Natalie. There she is. Hiya. Right, Natalie, very, very, very quickly, I noticed two conditions of two gentlemen, even from your voice vibration. One is most definitely in your inquiry, a spiritual guide, there's no two ways about it. But I also want to say, the other gentleman is family. Mm -hmm. And he backs up this spiritual guide, he talks to the spiritual guide, and I feel pleased that this gentleman is linked on your dad's side of the family, not mum's. And I feel, dad's dad please, your grandfather, mm -hmm. is he now resident in the higher side? Yeah. Because that's who I feel these two are. Yeah. That grandfather, and he gives me the impressions that he said, you know, like, hey, she's surprised, a bit shocked that it'd be me, okay? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> but can I just say, he chose it, he chose to do this. So he's not your out and out guide, this other person is your guide. Now, I, he's, this other guide has noticed something. He said, oh yes, oh yes, we want tentatively um, for you to link with the study and link with university, okay? Mm -hmm. They want this, but he's noticed, he said, I've got a little bit of a job on my hands, Derek. And I said, why? And he said, because, Natalie been saying, well, I don't really know if I want to go, okay. Is that right? Yeah. Because they listen to your innermost thoughts. They're allowed to as guides, okay? Mm -hmm. But he's saying, you know, it would be a revelation if you did for what would the, be the outcome if you're linked with the university. You are capable. And will you please be a little bit more confident? That's from <laughs> your granddad, okay? Yeah. Because you're lacking a little bit in confidence yeah. at times, yeah. aren't you? I am, yeah. I also want to say to you, please, oh, quickly, there's a lady. There's a lady's just come here now, and I feel she would have passed to the words of spirit. She didn't go over very um, old. I feel she probably, oh gosh, either in her 50s, if she reached 60. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not aware of this lady, she's linked to your family. And I feel it's either an aunt, no, it's a great aunt, thank you, Sam, a great aunt on your mum's side. Right. Okay? Yeah. And I feel that she went over pneumonia or something with breathing, okay? Something like that. Mm -hmm. But I know she comes around you in the sensitive links. But your guide, thank you, your guide is calling himself Ronald. Okay. So you've got his name now, okay? <laughs> yeah. But he's just said, you can call me Ron. Okay. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So you send your thoughts out, you know his name now, okay? Yeah. Um, yes, please. It's your free will. Always is. Mm -hmm. But I'll say this. If you really push for the links with the university, your life cycle and style later, you'll be so, so pleased about it. If you don't, you'll miss a pathway. Okay. So the same, but it's your free will. Yeah. Your guide's encouraging you. Your granddad's encouraging yeah. you. So is this great aunt. Because I have applied to university, but I've been more inclined to start with... It's up to you. Yeah. Please, a better pathway okay. at the end of the study. Mm -hmm. But it's up to you. He can't interfere. He can only gently guide you. Mm -hmm. But he's saying, tell her what's at the end of that rainbow. Okay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Is that all right? Yeah, I just want to know about relationships as well. Okay. Emotionally, just quickly, can I say this to you, please? This what your grandfather, he'd yeah. be taking more notice of that. It's a case of hit and miss with you, okay? Yeah. All right? Okay. I want to go back with you about seven, eight months ago, maybe a little bit longer. Bear with me. And wasn't there a situation and an occurrence around you, please, that was rather disappointing or you're not too happy about? Yeah. And you had to let this go? Yeah. Yes. Your guide and your granddad got their heads together to say, let him go. He's not worthy of you. Okay? Okay. All right. When? Oh, oh, oh. Next March, as they open and they say, yes, that's better. And I said, who? They said, Tony. Watch for the name Tony, okay? Okay. And your granddad's, he's got a better quality, we'll let him in, okay? <laughs> yeah. So will you watch for that? I will, yeah. Okay, when you meet Tony, give Becky your phone, will you, a call and tell her? <laughs> yeah. Will you? Yeah. To give the proof yeah. that they know what they're talking okay, about. Okay, I will. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, can I also, who? What's her name? But it's either Pauline or Paula. Say, it, I must have one. Is it Pauline? Is there a lady, please, you know, to the earth who calls herself Pauline? My auntie. Thank you. Oh, 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 thank you. Don't make me do that. Can I, sorry about that. Pauline, Pauline, very shortly, please, is going to be phoning every family member up and saying, I've won, I've won, what do you think? I've won. So there's some kind of windfall. It's not massive, they're saying, but it, it will enable Pauline to move. They've noticed that Pauline wants to move from where she's living. Yeah. Get a message to her. Tell her to enter Games of Chance and watch what happens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah.
Cora, thank you very much. I think you deserve a big round of applause for that. Brilliant. So she's got Pauline, she's got Ron, hasn't she? She's got Ron the Spirit Guide and she's got Tony on the horizon. Yes. Fantastic. She's got quite a few people to look forward to there. Brilliant. That is actually all for this part of predictions, but coming up we meet Clara. She's hoping Derek will be able to tell her if her son who died at the age of 13 visits the family home. And we take some more questions from our lovely studio audience. We'll see you there.